Taurus, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louv here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading for the month of October. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Taurus, in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge for October is the Page of Pentacles. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Hermit upright. Your biggest challenge here, uh, Taurus, has a lot to do with some sort of new beginning that you're going to be embarking on. This could be a new project that you're doing, a new course that you're doing, um, planting some sort of seed, an investment that you're doing. It may be challenging for you to determine where to put your time and energy at this time. And the important message here for you is what skill are you being called to develop? So there could be something here that you are finding challenging to develop when it comes to, you know, your skills in general. So we're going to clarify this. We're going to get more information for you in a moment. In the recent past, you have the eight of wands, the page of wands, and you have the four of pentacles. So in the recent past, I do strongly feel that you were moving towards a completely new direction. You started making plans um, for this and whatever it is that you were moving towards here in the past, you moved towards it extremely quickly. Um, but it looked like it ended up being something that you truly wanted, that you wanted to hold on to here. And we're going to talk more about that for you in a moment. In the present moment, you have the seven of wands, the knight of cups, and you have the knight of pentacles. You're coming together with someone in the present moment. I don't feel like the relationship is really solid yet. Uh, does it have a lot of potential? Absolutely. I do get a sense here that somebody, um, is creating boundaries or they're protecting themselves from getting hurt, especially if there isn't a hundred percent of commitment here. Okay. And one of the things that I've been picking up for almost all the signs is a lot of us are getting involved in relationships that are not solidified yet. And it's creating some sort of uncertainty about our connections. Uh, so, you know, you and this person come together, it may lead to something great. It may not. We're going to find out more about that in a moment. In the near future, you have the six of cups, you have the knight of wands and you have the page of swords in the near future. You're going to be questioning a relationship or questioning something here that happened in the past. Okay. And this could be connected to a fire sign, Leo Sagittarius Aries. I'm getting a Gemini or a cancer here in the near future. And we're going to talk about that in a moment, which you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. You have the hermit and the ace of pentacles. You could be involved with somebody here who's been disconnected from you for a while. Could be a Virgo, maybe another Taurus. Um, I do feel like there was or is some sort of period of separation where you and this person have disconnected. But the reason why this may be happening, Taurus, is because what you don't see coming is the fact that somebody does want to offer you uh, an opportunity. Maybe there's a chance to develop or create something between you and this person. But what I strongly feel here is there could be or there could have been some form of a separation between you and a particular person because you and this person needed time apart to really determine whether or not this was real. And sometimes that happens, right? Where there's a separation. Separations aren't bad. Separations are there to really determine if whatever it is you're getting involved in is something that is for you. What does it feel like not being with you? And what does it feel like being with you? Uh, so that's what you don't see coming that there may be some sort of new opportunity here that's unexpected with someone that you disconnected from. So we're going to get into your reading. We're going to get more information and see what's going on. Okay, let's clarify your challenge. Okay, the page of pentacles is clarified by the nine of swords. You have the seven of cups and you have the seven of wands. So for many of you, your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with getting clear on what you want. Okay, so if you've been experiencing anxiety, stress, fear, um, emotional confusion, it's because you are not making something clear in the month of October. And before you embark on something new, something here needs to be clear to avoid stress and anxiety. I'm seeing 1055 on the clock. There may be an important message here about 1055 that may be connected to your challenge that you may want to check when it comes.
comes to angel numbers, okay? So this is your challenge, this is what I'm seeing. Now let's talk about the recent past. You decided to move into a completely new direction and I feel like this new direction that you moved into was one that happened very swiftly, very quickly for you, Taurus, in the past. Tell me more about the Page of Wands for Taurus in the recent past. Okay, so the Page of Wands is clarified by the Six of Pentacles. You have the Eight of Pentacles and you have the Page of Wands. So in the recent past, many of you decided to move towards a situation which was connected to your work, your crafting of something here that you really wanted to do. You moved into a new direction. Some of you ended up being with another Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, and this person started to come towards you in the past you know, being very generous, very available to you. And that's what made you feel comfortable enough to move towards a new beginning with this person. I feel like it led to tons of success. You realized, hey, I don't have to be, you know, by myself anymore. I don't have to be connected to certain people that aren't, aren't honest with me. Some of you were dealing with somebody here in the past. You chose to disconnect from them because they would constantly lie, cheat, um, take advantage of you. And you may have said to yourself, you know what? I'm moving on from this. I deserve better in the recent past. Tell me more about the eight of wands. You have the moon, the, the two of cups in the world. Yeah. So somebody here was hiding things from you in the past and you moved very quickly away from them. You closed the cycle out and you said, no more. I'm going to have a new beginning with somebody here who's worth my time and worth my energy. And this is what this new beginning was all about in the past. For many of you, you did a lot of self-reflection. You worked on yourself here. And one of the things is, I'm just going to tell you in the past, if you were working on yourself um, in the past alone, behind closed doors, uh, for many of you, what you're going to see with the full moon happening uh, on September 29th, the, the last super moon we're going to have in Aries, which is connected to your 12th house if you're a rising um if you're a rising Taurus, this is about your full self-development. This is about you finally reaping the benefits on something that you did behind the scenes for the last 12 months and it's finally coming to fruition. So if you've been doing the work on yourself, you're finally gonna see the fruits of your labor at the end of September. Even though this is a reading for October, that may be something that you need to know. That may be confirmation, okay? So let's talk about the present moment. Now, like I said, you're coming together with someone in the present moment. You and this person are very different. But this is what draws you and this person together. Tell me more about the seven of wands in the present moment for Taurus. So the seven of wands is clarified by the knight of pentacles, the 10 of cups and the 10 of pentacles. Wow. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the wheel of fortune Taurus. So I feel for you really strongly. There's a really strong energy here, um, with the knight of pentacles and the 10 of, um, cups with the 10 of pentacles. There's definitely something here about fulfillment. You know, that whoever it is you're moving towards, and you may be avoiding this because you may be very busy. Some of you are super busy and you don't even have time for love, um, because your job or your money situations, um, primary is more important, but whoever it is you're moving towards in the present moment, what it's going to lead to, it's going to lead to nothing but happiness, stability, fulfillment. And this is what you've wanted. So like I said, if you've been doing the inner work on yourself and we reach September 29th, you're going to see all this abundance just flow into your life because you've been doing the inner work. And if you haven't been doing the inner work, now is the time to get started because we have a couple more days until the end of the month. Um, so this is connected to your relationships. Okay. So when you start to work on yourself, which is Aries energy, automatically what happens astrologically is the seventh house starts to benefit because we live in a dualistic world. So whatever you do to one side is affected. The other side's affected. Okay. Um, point A is always going to be affected by point B, the complete opposite. So that's what you're learning in the present moment. And I feel like that's why the wheel of fortune's here, because like I said, you've been focusing on yourself, nine of cups with the three of wands, and you're finally moving forward. So what's happening is you're attracting a really important connection in the present moment. It's taking time, but it looks like it's developing. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups. I'm getting something here about popcorn, okay? There could be something here about a connection that you're involved in when it comes to popcorn. There's an important message here about this person who's coming towards you. 
you have the three of cups, the knight of swords, and you have the um, knight of wands. One of the things that I see here is, is that now that you've decided to move forward, now that you've decided to move towards something here that's actually has a lot of potential, I see certain people from your past coming back. It could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So for many of you, you could still be dealing with somebody here who you left, who hurt you, whoever this person is. Um, if you haven't given them closure, it's important that you give these people, these exes closure in order to be able to successfully reap the benefits that are coming into your life. Uh, because the solar eclipse that's happening in Libra, it is going to be touching on that Virgo energy, which is also a shared planet that you have with Libra. It's really important that you're making room and you're letting um, these exes from the past if you don't want to deal with them anymore it's important that you close the chapters out successfully from a very humble and peaceful manner so that when you do start a new beginning it's one that's going to lead to the fulfillment that you're looking for important message for you Taurus is the page of Pentacles the hermit and the three of Pentacles your important message is to uh, really think long and hard about the collaborations that you choose to move towards because this new beginning, this solar eclipse that's happening in Libra, it's all about new beginnings in relationships. It's all about solidifying and creating relationships that, you know, where we have common interests. If you don't have common interests with someone, this is why somebody from the past or something's coming back from the past to remind you, uh, whatever you did in the past that didn't work out, try not to repeat that again. Try to have a new beginning that actually is one that is going to support the vision that you have, okay? So for many of you, you could be single right now and you're moving towards maybe a new job or maybe a new project where you're gonna be collaborating. Just make sure that whoever it is you're deciding to collaborate with, they're on the same page as you because when you know that, that's when you can ensure that you're closer and closer to the success that you deserve and that you're looking for, okay? So that's what I'm seeing for you in the present moment. Now, in the near future, I do strongly feel there is someone from your past that's coming back or you're creating memories with someone here in the near future. So let's clarify the Six of Cups and let's see why it's here and what you need to know. Okay, so the Six of Cups is clarified by the Nine of Cups. You have the Justice and you have the Eight of Cups. So for many of you in the near future, I'm really strongly getting um, with the Eight of Cups, you're gonna be choosing to disconnect from someone here from your past. You're no longer going to let this person have access to you because for many of you, you're moving on. You're trying to make room for something bigger and better that's already entered into your life or that is coming into your life. So for many of you, I see you walking away or disconnecting from someone from the past completely. You're gonna be setting something right. There could be a divorce, a do divorce proceeding or a divorce um, finalization. And whatever this situation is that you're disconnecting from that's been nothing but difficulties for you, it's finally going to make room for a new love that's coming in. So this new love that's coming in has been waiting for you to clear the room, the room, clear the area for them to finally come in. Tell me more about this person that's coming into Taurus's life in the near future. Okay, so the Knight of Wands is clarified by the Three of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Five of Cups. So in the near future, I'm really strongly getting that um, even though whoever this person is that's coming into your life, they have either been cheated on before or they have trust issues. They're finally realizing that by coming towards you, you're a part of their destiny. You're a part of their new milestone. There's a new milestone that's starting um, for you and this person in the near future. And even though there's a lot of this questioning, a lot of this like, is it going to work? Is this for me? You're going to get the signs that it is meant for you, okay? Because the Wheel of Fortune's here. So don't be afraid to let go of something if you feel like that's the right thing that you need to do, that it's time for you to let go of someone from the past or let go of a situation connected to your past in order to bring balance back into your life to feel satisfied again, then that may be what you're being called to do here in the near future. You simply may decide to do that on your own because a lot of you want a new beginning. You no longer want to be in this place of uncertainty about your life or being in hermit mode all the time. Um, so you're abandoning something here, okay, that's been very hard to let go of, um, and you're questioning it, but the signs are gonna be there for you so that you feel reassured enough to know that by disconnecting from this, it's the right thing to do, okay? So let's get some advice for you, Taurus. What's the advice?
The advice for you, Taurus, is the Three of Swords, the Fool, and the Ten of Wands. Your biggest piece of advice here is to recognize what is causing you pain, recognize what has become very difficult for you in your life, recognize what's holding you back from having some sort of successful new beginning. Now is the time for you to focus on yourself. Now is the time to prepare for some sort of new cycle that is actually meant for you. Now is the time to let go of any burdens or issues that are challenging or overwhelming to you that are stopping you from having this beautiful new beginning. Because the truth is this new beginning that's coming is in is an opportunity. It's important that you identify it so that you do not miss out. Okay. Timing is everything. So if the timing is off by one bit, because you're still holding on to pain or hurt from someone from the past, then that is why some sort of new beginning is delayed. And that's what spirit's asking you to do remove clear out what is not for you clear out what has been difficult for you and make room for what truly matters for you so that you can see and experience the abundance that you truly deserve okay so taurus this is what i have for you i hope this reading helped thanks so much for tuning in and i'll see you on the next one bye